Hello, everyone, everybody. Yeah, I can't even talk tonight. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hobby CNC with Dave show. We're going to try something tonight, and I don't have a clue whether it's going to work or not. So it uh, should be a fun show. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, let me bring my crew in here with me. Got uh, the Wolfman's back with us tonight. Hey. And Paul's with us tonight, too. Let's see if I can get a yeah, I like that view better. Yeah, I'm going to try to run, you know, in the uh, Vectric. Let's see, I always have to stop and think what they call it. The Vectric Box Creator Gadget. It has, you know, we've made, uh, we've done all these kind of boxes, just the box joint. Uh, these, these things work great. But they also have a feature where you can select dovetail. And I decided I wanted to play around and see what it did. So I did it. And I've only, I haven't cut anything. I haven't tried it uh, for real. But I've just done the simulation. And believe it or not, it looks like it might work. So we're going to find out here tonight. We're going to get that started here in a little bit. It's going to take about 40 minutes uh, to run. And I was telling Paul and uh, Ryan that they may have to uh, do most of the talking because it might get a little loud. So I may uh, keep my mic muted. But what I could do is I could, because I got the camera set up where we can watch it run, and I could just go into the office real quick and get in there. It'll be quiet in there. So. Uh, and then just watch it on the camera. So that's always an option too. We'll just have to see uh, how loud it is when I when I get it going. Uh, but anyway, before we get started on all of that stuff, we're going to be uh, you know we do the weekly giveaway sponsored by good old Cody from Cadence yeah. Manufacturing and Design. And my instructions for tonight were that we were going to give away let me get it over he even sent me a new video clip we're going to be giving away the original jenny so nice yeah he's got that nice new uh video i like that so that's the one that's going to be on the giveaway tonight so it's going to be hashtag jenny you want to go ahead and put those in uh, i've already got the uh, giveaway tool set up so it should start collecting the hashtag jenny's as soon as you put them in there awesome so i know cody's out there too already he's on the road he said yeah yeah he uh i think he was in texas or somewhere so he's uh Sweet. on the road again be safe there, Cody, sir. Another thing I wanted to mention, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to talk about the <laughs> Christmas challenge every week unless I forget. But I remembered to put the stuff on the website. So I, I have included a link uh, down below in the video description but i'm also going to put a link right here in the chat so if you, anybody that wants to go check that out there's it's most of it's done there's nothing in there yet about prizes because i've still you know got to round up some sponsors and you know see if we can get folks to donate some gift cards or, or whatever but we'll have uh we'll have something uh and i'll be updating that as we go along uh, but but the the main gist of the challenge is, is over there, so uh, feel free to click on that link and go check it out. And I hope we get uh, hope we get a lot of entries. Uh, for that, so I think we'll have a good one this year. I'm I, I think so. I think so. I think you know because. <laughs> The last couple of years have been down a little bit, just, you know, had all that COVID mess and all that. But uh, 
Let's see. There's Mr. Jr. Where <laughs> that super chat button at? For only twelve cents a day, you can make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Good old JR. Sure. All right. Yeah, it looks like the uh, giveaway tool is working. We're up to 51 entries already, so it's uh, it's uh, cranking them out there. And I see it looks like my link did work that I put in there. Uh, let's see. What else did I have to talk about? Um, I guess that's it. You guys got anything? Because once I get this started, I'm not going to be able to hear much out here, so... You guys got anything uh, you want to give us a shop update or anything, Wolfman? Uh, sure. Yeah, I can give you a shop update. Um, uh, I ordered the doors. I think I said that like a week ago. Um, they're still not in yet, which is fine. Um, got some drains for the in front of the doors, and uh, I started working on putting those in today. Um, the farmer, our field that's right next to my house, uh, the farmer has decided that he now wants to – to plow it up and do all that stuff. So all my things that I had over there, I've been moving over back into the, into the shop or into the driveway right in front of the shop. And uh, so uh, uh, it's a little bit of a mess over there at the moment. But um, uh, I did do a cool uh, like time-lapse loop around it the other day for a video. Um, so I'm going to be doing a uh, shop update video here pretty shortly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, I see. Jr. is asking, says seriously, super chat disabled. I, you know, I'm not going to give myself one, but when I go to hover over it, it looks like it says show your support. It looks like it's working. So just to test it, everybody probably should go right now and <laughs> click on it. And do 99 cents. <laughs> and make. No, I, I don't. I can't tell. I think it's working, but I don't. I don't know. There's always a buy buy me a coffee link uh, down below too. I never mentioned that, but I always have that buy me a coffee link. If anybody would prefer to use that over the uh, the YouTube super chat thing, yeah. But I appreciate oh, any ahead. and all uh, donations to the uh, Hobby CNC with Dave Fund. Yeah, I I'm operating off of my iPad tonight because. Uh, Right as we were starting to go live, the computer just like went nuts. <laughs> Start scrambling. Uh, we're yeah. running on the iPad, which seems to be working better than what the computer was. Yeah. Well, it's it's like it's got where every Saturday when I come out here, I hope that this thing's going to make it because it got hung yeah. up. I always come out here early in the morning, and turn it on and leave it on all day so that it can get updates and stuff. And at one point I came out here and it was locked up. I could not click on anything in the StreamYard screen. So I had to reboot it. And so far it's uh, looks like it's working okay now. I don't know. Oh, okay. Look. somebody, Yeah, we got a, we got a super chat. So uh, Marcia uh, Jackson. She gets extra kudos because uh, um, uh, she beat JR. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta be, you gotta be quick to beat him. <laughs> Thanks, Marsha. That's awesome of you. Yeah, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. I, I guess I'll talk about them real briefly before I start this. Uh, and if I let's see if I can add this. If you look at this uh, camera that I've got right back here. You'll notice that I have a four foot, or actually a, I should say, two foot by four foot, uh, you know, those little panels you get like from Lowe's and Home Depot. And one thing, and I was talking to Ryan about this before we went live, is when you're using the dovetail part of that Vectric box creator gadget, it's really picky. For example, I always, you know, I went in and I set it up my material to do 48 wide along the X and 24 deep. And then when I went to create the box with dovetails, it it threw like the two or three pieces up this way, which fit on the blank. It had one piece over here, which was on the blank. But then another piece, it threw way up here off the blank. 
And unlike when you're using the box joint feature, you cannot grab those, move them around, and then click rec recalculate tool pass. It, when you try that with the dovetail thing, it will come up with an error. Well, actually, it'll recalculate, but it won't recalculate the dovetail toolpath because they're saying it doesn't have permissions because it was done with a third-party thing, and, and the box creator is a third-party app. But you can do it when you're using the box joints. You just can't with the dovetail. So that might you know you might be wondering like why would you clamp it up that way running long and skinny towards the back well that's the way i had to do it um but i will show you a workaround after this is all over with and we get the noise over i will uh you know tell you what you know what kind of workaround you can use because a lot of people may not have you know i got a four by four so i got room to turn it that way but on some of my other machines I couldn't. It's not that big. Yeah. So I will tell you about a, uh, a little workaround. Uh, Paul, you got anything you want to share with us? You've been making any jack lanterns or anything? Uh, Working on a bookcase. Okay. I had, my, I had my workbench clean for a day, and now it's full of stuff again. Yeah, as it as it should be. Yes, yeah, so any vertical or any horizontal surface in my workshop is... It's destined to be full. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got Jr. Finally, uh, oh, he, he figured out. Finally figured out the the super <laughs> chat button. I appreciate you, Jr. The guy is just amazing. He hits that he hits that thing every week. Hey, Jr. Just so you know, uh, practice makes perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So if there is. Uh, Nothing else uh, anybody wants to talk about real quick. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself right off here because I, I, I know it's going to get loud. And then I'll try turning it on later and and we'll, we'll see how it does. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. I'm really interested in seeing how this works. Yeah, I am too. I, was, I forgot to ask him what kind of bit he's using in that. Oh, I forgot. I'd already muted myself and I was still talking. Nobody can hear me. Uh, <laughs> I am using a downtown Jenny, quarter inch downtown Jenny. Nice. No tabs. There's not going to be any tabs in this. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it all works. See, I'm a little, I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous because this is, you know, this is their tool pass. This is that box gadget tool pass. I've done the simulation and stuff, and I think they're okay, but it always makes me nervous when I'm running something and I didn't create it. So anyway, I'm going to mute myself, go hit the button, and uh, then I'll come back and listen in and you guys can tell me if I'm too loud. You got it. <laughs> In the meantime, JR is practice session testing, testing, need more cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Very awesome. I, I know Dave definitely appreciates it, uh, JR. Look at that. And Mike, Mike Savvy. Sa Savvy, Savvy? I'm saying it wrong. Uh, did a donation in there too. So thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, I know Dave appreciates it. Man, that thing's going crazy over there. Sweet. Um, so uh, let's see here. What else we got? We got something else going on here in the in the uh, chat here. LB Sharp says, uh, if you tell the software to make a four by four and a half inch thick wood box, does it use the outside measurements? Um, I'm guessing that you're talking about the Vetric ones uh, on the Vetric. Uh, system and I, uh, I'm not the right one to ask because I don't use Vetric. Um, Dave knows though, uh, but I want to say you could dictate if it was inside or outside. On the um, on the not, when you use the box joints, box joints, it's the outside measurements. The outside? 
Yeah. What one of them that we had talked about did do the inside box thing or box uh whatchamacallit. Um but uh whatever. Uh, man, she's going to town over there. Yeah, it is. That's pretty wild. Well, let's see here. Um oh no, Troy <laughs> Troy Troy says cow. Here we go again. No, no, Troy, we're not getting into the cows again. All right, is that too loud? No, that's not bad. No, it seems all right. Okay, it may not be too bad during this part, but when it goes to cut them out, I'll probably have to mute it again. Did y'all get this question answered? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it, that's what we were actually just talking about uh, a little bit Um but it, 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 it'll be, it, it's supposed to use the outside dimensions. It's, um, here in John, yeah, yeah, we, we were talking about that. Okay, I, I guess I missed it because I had my head on. It's all right, it happened right after, right after you hit the, your mute button there. Um, the, John Thompson is saying, uh, is asking, the, it's in. It, this is inside the Vetric box making. Uh, well, if if you if you have the, the box creator gadget downloaded, it doesn't come automatically in Vetric Vcar Pro, but you can get it. It's a free download. It's a, it's made by a third party. Okay. And the dovetail thing, when you when you use that box creator gadget, and I'll I'll show you after this thing gets all done. There's two choices you can say box joint or dovetail. And by default, at least on mine, whenever I open that up, it always is on dovetail. And I always change it to box uh, box joint to run just the regular boxes. But I wanted to try this. Uh, I don't know if you can tell what it's doing there, but what it's doing is it's taking that bit and trying to go back, you know, it's stepping over like five thousandths every time to try to get it as smooth as possible, but it's, it's also starting from the top and going down to get that angle like you would have in a dovetail. Hmm. So I'm really anxious to see just how well this works. Now, how big a box is it? Well, what I did is I I ran that uh, box the other day out of some old plywood, and it was 20 by 15 and a half by 5 or 6 inches tall, I think. And I wanted to make enough. I thought, well, if I'm going to use this, I might as well use up this whole piece and make a box that same size. So it should be 20 by 15 and a half by, I can't remember, I think I made it the size five inches tall. Uh, Roy Baker's got a uh, statement there for you. Uh, every time it makes that initial plunge, it scares the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's not it's not hurting anything. No, no, but it, it's such a it's like immediately a different noise. Oh, this is pretty cool to watch. Uh, that one. Yeah. Oh. Um. So, um, Dave, you can still hear me when you're over there, right? What's that? I can... <laughs> uh, Roy Baker says that uh, he's made several boxes out of MDF with both the box joints and dovetail, and both of them work pretty well. Okay. Well, that's yeah. that's a, that's good to know. I'm hope I'm hoping I'm not wasting a, uh, a piece of this material for this. And I started to run a smaller box, and then I thought, Nah, go big or go home. You know, I might as well make a box that I can use for something. But I tell you what, when I when I come over here and feel this, 
that's really smooth. So I think it's, uh, I think it may work pretty good. Awesome. It's just the problem is this takes quite a while. <laughs> it gets me every time. <laughs> every time. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool to see. It's it is. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, before before it gets loud, it's it's going to be running these for a while. Right now, it's on the the bottom piece, so it's got to do those all the way around. It. Let me see if I can uh, do this without locking up my computer here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm just going to turn off uh, YouTube. I don't need to see that. No. It's Santa, Gary. So I guess he is kind of an elf. Uh, yeah, Troy, I'm multitasking a little bit. It's... Uh, I was uh, messing around with my vinyl cutter, and every time that we do the show, my little mini split is always in the picture, so I, uh, I'm putting my channel name on it. Okay, I think this is going to work without locking up the computer here. This is what it's running, and if I zoom in right here, there you can see that the angle it's putting on all the dust here. Huh. That's pretty wild. It's, it's so, even got the dog bones with it. Yeah, yeah. So you see it's got, and again, I, I guess you guys can hear me okay. When I set this up the first time, I had the material running the other way, 48 on the X and 24 on the Y, and it put this piece, this piece, this piece right where it is. It had this piece over here, which was okay, because that's still on the material, but it had this piece way up here, and it wasn't even on the material, <laughs> and you couldn't move it. So, for example, if I come back here... And I change this. It, it just doesn't work because when you go to move these tool paths, like I'm going to try to grab these three and then move them over. So it looks like it's working because I'm going to move these down here. But of course, now I have to hit recalculate to get those tool paths to work. Mm -hmm. So if I come over here and hit recalculate, you get this little error that says recalculate not supported for imported tool paths. So if I click OK, what it does is now all it did was put be cut out. There's no dovetail. Well, you see where, where they are. If I turn them on, they're still where they were originally. Oh, yeah. So that part doesn't work. You have to you have to figure out how it's going to lay them out in there and then to make your sheet accordingly. So I just turned it like this even though I don't really like running stuff like this uh, but after this is all over and I don't have to feel like I'm yelling over this thing I'll uh, show you there's a workaround if, if you're using Mach 3 there's a workaround uh, that you could use that's pretty neat uh, it's kind of wild that it uh, well I mean it is there, there, I guess it is an imported toolpad so yeah, <laughs> it's pretty neat though to watch it go. But this it is this, like I said, I I have not run this, you know, to test with any size box. So I I just used 
three thousandths for the allowance, which is what I would normally use for the other type box. Mm -hmm. And we'll just see. It looks like, you know, it looks like it's going to work pretty well. Yeah. Uh, out in the chat, if it gets too uh, aggravating with the with the uh, noise of it running around doing these noises, let us know, and we'll figure something out. Um, in the meantime, uh, <laughs> Jr. needs to insulate his attic. Uh, anybody in the know have any options on or opinions on open cell or closed cell spray foam insulation? Uh, my YouTube university degree. <laughs> says that they both perform about the same. Um, I'm, I think I'm more, more of a fan of the close side. Why, I don't know. It's just, I think it's the, I see that more often on like pole barns and stuff like that as closed. Um, but uh, you guys got any opinions on cell phone? <laughs> Paul's like, no. <"Nope." laughs> I try to stay out of my attic. Yeah, yeah, I hear you on that. Um, Brooks is asking, uh, how do you fill in the, the gaps from those dog bones? If you well, want to even fill them in. There's, uh, let me do this for a second. With those, with that... With, with this style of box, though, I don't. I wonder how much of it will even be visible. So you really don't. You really don't see much of a gap. This one's not even glued together either. It's still just stuck together. But there's really not that much of a uh, gap. I mean, if, if you can use salt dust and glue and fill them up if it if it bothers you. I guess if they look too big. Yeah. The Troy's wondering if a if the nesting option would help it. No, it's it's not with the dovetail feature. It might with the other one because, like I said, when you're using just the plain box joints, you can move those around. Uh, those those two paths will re uh, recalculate, but for some reason the the dovetail one won't. Yeah. Which you know, it's a it's a free third party app, so I guess I can't complain too much. You know, it's not like it's something that came, you know, with Vectric that they made. Um, all right, Harvey. I don't I don't remember seeing Harvey in there. So this may be one of Harvey's first times watching with us. And if it is, welcome, Harvey. If not. Welcome back. Um, he's asking if it does matter how the hold down clamps <laughs> positioned on the board. He always does them with the thin part on top. That's a that's a good eye, Harvey. Yeah. Let me grab a. Uh, a normally, normally they're like this, but I was recently running something that was you know quarter inch material so these you can't clamp it won't hold them so i turn i take them and turn them this way so when i got ready to do this this material just a hair under a half inch so it would really work if i did them this way or this way but since I already had most of them turned the other way, that's how I did it. So I was just lazy and didn't really screw them and turn flip them over. But yeah, surprised they might even notice that. But that's, that's the nice thing about those little scrap you know, clamps that you make out of scrap wood is you can flip them over and use them whichever side you want to. Yeah. <laughs> Clyde says we need to oil the squeak. <laughs> Eric 
every time. Every time it does it, it gets me. And you're ready for it, and it still does it, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've been, uh, I've been working on the scoreboard parts. And what are we up to? Oh, well, there's been a big jump in the number, but it's mainly because I'm doing the, I, I, I'm doing uh, the, uh, the little diffuser parts now, right there. Like, uh, so I'm, I'm running 10 of those at a time, and they only take about two and a half hours to do 10. So I, I'm up another 100 uh, um, parts. No, there's no way you're going to take that scoreboard thing and try and pass it off as a Christmas project, are you? Well, the, the, the letters and numbers, I mean, the numbers are all green and red, Paul. So you could. Yeah. You, you, you ruined the surprise now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Except I think, in, I think in Dave's thing, I read that you can't start it till Black Friday. <laughs> I can't post it. You could start it now. Well, you should start it now. So it's all whatever your project is you're done. But uh, um, here's what the uh, the little diffuser one looks like. No, so is I'm that using it. is it's that a translucent to be clear PLA. PLA? Yeah. So it's a it's a translucent uh, um, PLA. And I did it with like 50% uh, infill. So it actually gives it that cross pattern that you see in like fluorescent lights, you know, the diffuser that you see in those. It kind of looks like that. But it, uh, when it's behind one of these, you're not going to tell anyway. <laughs> but they, uh, they've been going pretty good so far. So, pretty awesome. Mm. These are running. Oh, so, uh, Dave, have you kept up with uh, Hamilton Dillbeck? I have not talked to him. His make Maketober thing is going really well. He's he's uh, yeah. I've, I've, uh, I might be a. I think I think I may have because he's on seventeen. I watched the one this morning, but I think I think I might be behind on a couple of three of them. I got to go back through the playlist and figure out which ones I haven't seen. He's made but, some nice uh, projects on that. Yeah, he's done really well on it. I'm hoping, uh, I hope that he's getting the the views and all that uh, to make all this work he's putting into it worthwhile. It's, uh, he's a good guy. And he's doing a, a live on uh, October 1st at 8 yeah. o'clock. I guess he's got some, some giveaways he's doing and stuff like that. So if you're out there and you haven't uh, been watching Hamilton's uh, Maketober, videos make sure you pull his up and watch them and uh then tune in for his giveaway show or, or like i think it's more of a a month wrap up <laughs> at the end but he's got some uh some giveaways he's going to be doing and stuff let's see here uh larry brown's got a question for you there dave yeah let me uh Let me uh, bring this up again. And let's see, I'll just start a new file here. Anytime you want to bring a DXF in, all you have to do is to import vectors. And of course, I don't have that handy in here, I don't think. I don't know 
if I have it on this computer. This is the PDF. But, uh, let me see if I can find it. Those are all PDF. But anyway, this, that's how you would do it. Just come, you know, start a new file. Come to file import. The DXF is a vector file. I just click import vectors and then highlight the different parts and then click open and it should, uh, should bring that in. Raymond's got a question here for you too. Um, can you draw a design on the box pieces and cut it out before the box is cut out? Yeah. You would just do that uh, process first and then do the box cutting out afterwards. Okay. It's just another tool path, that's all it is. Yeah, absolutely. You could uh, just to give you an example, this is just a basic box, five piece to the bottom of the tool side. But let's say you wanted to make some kind of little mini enclosure out of this. You could put fan holes here, uh, you know, some connector slots or a vent pattern or whatever you wanted to put in it. And then you would just do those tool paths and make sure you move them ahead of the ones that are cutting the path. You know, you always want to do your profile stuff. But yeah, in fact, you could even, I see, you know, you could modify this. Let's say you wanted to make this a thing where it was like a, a little crate where you put like a hand hole, you know, or something in there. You, any of that stuff you can do. This, that the gadget, the box creator gadget, this makes the basic box that you can add anything to it that you want. Uh, move on here. Uh, John Thompson's asking how are all the dogs doing? And uh, does uh, um, Jack like his new uh, water bowl holder? Well, um, I'm, I'm down. I just have one dog here. Rocky passed on back in uh, November of uh, 2020. So Jack's the only dog I got. But he likes this new. Uh, this new thing, and so far it looks pretty good. He hadn't slopped it on it. Pretty much. So, it's pretty good. My dogs are doing good. Uh, Ranger, uh, he was protecting every the world this evening from the vacuum cleaner. Uh, he, he did try to bite it many times. <laughs> He's doing, they're doing good. Let's see here. Um, David Davis has a question here for you. Uh, and I think we'll find out this, the answer to this at the end. Yeah, it says, well, the, the ones I've, you know, so far, all the ones that I've ran live on the show here have been just simple box joints. Not that good. So yeah, these don't take long to run. You can <laughs> got you again, Ryan. Every time, and that was after a big move too. <laughs> now, as far as these dovetails here, like I said, just looking and feeling with my finger, it feels like that angle. But I have no idea whether it's going to work or not. You know, I'm assuming it must work pretty good. Somebody else said they've done it, and it did. It worked good. Uh, I assume that they wouldn't have it, you know, as a download if it didn't at least work halfway good. Yeah. Now, as far as is this box worth it, I'm doing this just to see if it works. When this guy does dovetails, I use a... Uh, yeah. Well, Brooks is also uh, uh, 
you know, doing talking about basically doing a, a vertical clamp on it and running it. And that would be an option, too. That's just not the widget that we're using today. Yeah. Now, you can do it. You could do it that way. But, but I, I know I'll probably take some flack because a lot of the people love trying to figure out how to do all this stuff on the CNC. I wouldn't do them that way either. Again, if I'm going to have to do it vertically, I'm going to use my uh, dovetail jig. Now, the nice thing about this is my dovetail jig, I don't know exactly how big it is, but if I wanted to make a really big box and make dovetails, this would be a good way to do it. Yeah, it'd take a long time. But if you don't have a big enough dovetail jig, you could do it like this. And as far as doing the other way, mounting it vertically, I don't know that I, I mean, I guess it's okay. I know there's guys that figure out how to put the thing in front and do it. If you want to do them that way, more power to you. But I wouldn't do dovetails that way. Uh, one nice thing about this is, and we'll find out in a little bit if it works and how good the, the joint is, is you see how hard I'm working while this is running. I just hit the button. I could just as easily be sitting in the house in the recliner watching college football right now. So there's that, if it works. But we'll, we'll see how it does. Speaking of college football, did you see the end of the uh, Appalachian State uh, game today? I didn't see that. It ended with a Hail Mary, and uh, it, it got tipped around, and one of the Appalachian State guys caught it and ran it in. All right. huh. so it was pretty, pretty wild. The, the school stormed the, uh, the field and everything. It was pretty wild. Um, Keith Painter is asking uh, – what the speed you're running the bid at tonight? Uh, it's the uh, downtown Jenny bit, quarter inch downtown Jenny, or yeah, downtown Jenny bit, and it's running at 14,000 RPM at 150 inches a minute. And right now, as it's doing those little angles cuts. I've got it stepping over because you know how it is when you use a quarter inch bit for a roughing pass for a free car. You've got to keep the step over pretty small. So I've got the step over pretty small just so that it's, you know, try to get the best possible uh, finish that I can. Uh, and I don't really have nothing to base it on other than. When I did the simulation and I zoom in, you see little ridges. So I would tighten up the step over, do it again, zoom in, check that. And then I waited until, well, let me open that up again here. You're going to be hearing that sound in your sleep, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, Kenneth is <laughs> – I can't be the only one that cringes every time. <laughs> I can't be. Okay. Let's uh, see here. So, Marcella, we answered that for you. It's that downtown Jenny, the quarter-inch downtown Jenny. Um, and okay, then, so uh, – Harry's asking if you set an allowance, and I think you said you set it for thirty thousand. Three, three thousand. Or three thousand. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. As I would zoom this in, and again, this gets fuzzy anyway because of the resolution. But you would see little, little uh, bumps or you know stuff here. So I would just tighten it up, and I thought. I, I probably have it too tight. Probably doesn't need to be. I think I got it at 5,000 or something like that, or it's only stepping over that low. Probably doesn't need to be that low, but I figured I only got one shot. This is the only piece of 
here's what I am. So I'll set it up and, and we'll see what it does. Uh, Troy's asking if you could use a V-bit to do this, um, but I don't, I don't think that's the way the gadget works, right? No, no. Uh, so no, Troy, you couldn't use a V-bit on it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 It's farting it out now. Is that too loud? It's it's getting pretty loud. Okay, let me let me mute myself. Talk about me. <laughs> Doesn't matter if we can talk about you. You can still hear us. Look at that sucker go! Holy cow! Man, she's moving. That's really moving, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that's what a ten thousand dollar machine will get you right there. Yep. Woo wee. Man, that's impressive. Um, let's see here. Uh, while we're going, uh, oh, Keith is asking, does Cody make a compression bit? Uh, yes, he does. That's the original Jenny, I believe, is the uh, is the compression bit. Um, I can't remember what size it is right offhand. Uh, it's either either I think it's the, a quarter inch uh, um, compression bit. If I'm not yeah, mistaken, he's got that on his website. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's if you go to Cadence Manufacturing and Design, or I'm sorry, Cadence MFG and Design uh, dot com, um, it'll uh, it, he has it there. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to where is uh, where is that link for that there. Uh, da, 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 there it is right there look at that uh, so keith if you go there to cadencemfgdesign.com and uh it's it, it's listed there i know um but i believe it, it it's either an eighth or a quarter it's, inch, a, it's, it's available in both they just set out in the chat oh okay cool sweet and thanks again cody for uh always sponsoring the videos that's awesome our lives He's on the road. Hopefully he's being safe and driving. Don't text and drive. Don't comment on videos and drive. Let's see here. Whoops. Let me see if I can. Uh, operating this all on the iPads, a different experience, that's for sure. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Troy, uh, yeah, I'm not sure because at the beginning uh, of our live, Dave said that he was using the original Jenny, which is the compression bit. Uh, and then a little while ago, he said he was using the downtown Jenny. So I don't know which one he's using. <laughs> Let's see here. Man, look at her go. Chewy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Mary Mallory is uh, going back to Cadence MFG design. Um, you know, if you use uh, Make Timber uh, is a 10% um, off code that uh, um, that is uh, from uh, Hamilton Dilbeck's uh, Make Timber uh, videos. And uh, Cody's uh, doing a 10% off when you do Make Timber as a... Uh, Coupon. There we go. We're getting the hang of it now. Man, that thing is flying. So yeah, so I uh, I started putting on the, the channel name up onto the uh, um, onto the little air conditioning unit. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to even see it well once it's. I can't. Uh, I can't see the whole. I can see just uh, a little bit. Yeah, I just it. got the tape on there right now, so. Oh. I don't know. The font that I use probably isn't going to work out very well, so we might end up taking it down at some point anyway. But it is what it is. What's the channel name? R Ballard Designs. 
Oh, there's Mr. Schuster. He made it in there. Oh, don't worry, Rob. You haven't. It's not the ending yet. Dave's cutting out stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, Brooks has noticed that. Uh, yeah, there's no. Uh, he's not using any tabs on the profile cutout. So. Very cool. So we got 96 people watching right now. How many uh, How many likes we got out there? We got some thumbs up and good stuff. We have. Forty seven likes. Oh, come on. Come on, guys and ladies. Show Dave some love. There we go. I, I'm always afraid to click over and stuff, especially since I'm not using my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It. I'm just looking at the StreamYard side of things, and it uh, it always gets a little squirrely. There you go. Troy, Troy's got the right idea. There you go. Um, uh, Harry is asking if the allowance is plus or, or negative. Um, I believe it's plus because it's it's giving that it's adding that extra bit of room to the tabs to fit together tighter or looser rather. Now we got fifty eight thumbs up. Nice, thanks, folks. There we go. Oh, look at that! Look who look who showed up tonight. And. It's uh, Mr. Sean. He's uh, participating in Batman Day. Hopefully he's feeling better. Good old Batman Day. I saw a shirt that said, uh, um, I'm not saying that I'm Batman, but you've, I've never seen me and Batman in the same place at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some. Uh, there's a, a local realtor lady, um, and they did something. I think a couple of years ago for I think it was for Batman Day. It would make sense if it was. And uh, she, uh, they, they repelled down the side of a building for like uh, raising money for um, uh, a children's uh, hospital or something. Oh no! It got rained out. Oh, Batman doesn't work in the rain. Nope. Bad guy's got to go home. Uh, let's see here. Thomas is asking, uh, is the down cut packing the sawdust into in on the tapers? Uh, yeah, that that's one of the advantages of using a good down cut bit is that it will put those uh, put the wood chips down, cutting it down so that uh, a lot of times tabs aren't aren't needed for it. So I'm assuming that's what, well, the, the original Jenny has is a compression bit, so it has both the down at the very bottom, and then the rest of it is an upcut. Um, but if he's using just a, a regular down cut, downtown Jenny, then it would be doing it the whole way anyway. Let's see here. Oh, she's all finished. Okay, I'm going to uh, do the shop back thing just for a second, so I'm going to leave my mic muted. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to clean it all up. Home in the machine. Sweet. Very cool. Looking good. It'll be interesting. I can't wait to see how this thing goes together. There we go. Um, how is it doing the tapers? Uh, Thomas is asking how, how it does in the tapers. That's a different situation. 
Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, I guess it's still the same process. So I don't know. We'll, we'll ask Dave once he uh, is done vacuuming everything up. Let's see here. Uh, George was expecting to see a lot more chips overall. Very clean cut. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Oh, the shop. The shop's coming. Uh, it really hasn't. Uh, nothing's really happened with the shop uh, since I've ordered the doors. Um, I'm going to have to do a, when the doors are ready, uh, I'm going to have to go do a eight hour drive each way to go pick them up because they wanted $1,500 to ship them down to me. And I'd rather drive 16 hours than pay somebody $1,600, $1,500, whatever it was to, uh, um, to send them down here. So a couple hundred dollars in gas is a whole lot cheaper and I'm cheap. Let's see here. Raymond, you're right. I was incorrect. I was backwards. So yeah, I yeah, cuts up at the bottom or at the end of the bit is an up cut and the rest of it's a down cut. I believe you're correct. I don't have one, so. <laughs> Kenneth, Kenneth, I have no way to keep score on the completion of the shop. Yeah. Scoreboard is in process. Well, look at this. I got, I do have a lot of parts here for the scoreboard, even just sitting right next to me. Uh, um, there's uh, LEDs. I got some of the LEDs. Um, the power supply is right here. So, um, an Arduino Uno is here. So, uh, we're doing lots of, lots of testing on trying to get, I got to teach myself how to code this thing. Uh, to get it to work. So we got Raspberry Pi 4 here. Haven't decided exactly how we're making this thing work. How many um, LEDs go in each of those circles? In, in each, each one, just one. Just one? That That's the plan is for just one. Uh, they seem pretty bright uh, when I turned it on. So hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it'll work out. Dave's doing some cleanup. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be able to get these things beat together with these spoons on them, but we'll see. Um, so, Dave, uh, Thomas was asking about uh, is the down cut they're packing the sawdust in on the, or how is it packing the sawdust in on the tapers? Um, we noticed that you didn't have, you weren't using any tabs or anything as you're cutting those out. Uh, I mean, on a piece like this, it's going to pack it down good right here. But when it gets to here, there's so much extra room, it doesn't really pack it down. That's why you saw a couple of times, especially on those first two pieces. I wanted to make sure it didn't move right when it broke it loose. So I put my hand on it. And, uh, but I, then I saw that it wasn't going to move. So I'm thinking, well, it's okay. But, uh, but yeah, it doesn't pack it down in the single groove like it does when you're running the box drums. Gotcha. So you were actually using the a downtown Jenny and not the compression bit one, right? Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, Troy. Yeah, 1600 bucks to deliver those two doors. Yeah, so I'll, I'll drive for that. <laughs> They're looking pretty cool there, Dave. Oh. I'll switch back to the uh, to the camera there. Really. There you go.
It looks like a pretty nice tight fit. Well, here's the thing. I wasn't expecting something just gorgeous because you are making joints with a round bit. Right. So, but that thing right there went in surprisingly easy. I don't know if I'm keeping. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, Troy, that's the uh, that's the plan. I'm taking my truck up there. <laughs> We're gonna strap him to the uh, the the ladder rack and drive him back. And there is a chance that we might be close enough to a place that has a, something else that I want to pick up up there. So we'll see. We will see. Yeah, John, John says, tell, tell myself it's a mini vacation. No, it's going <laughs> to be a full day of hell driving. <laughs> Oof. Where do you have to go pick them up at, Ryan? I have to go to, uh, oh, where was that? Um, I forget the name of it. <laughs> What's What uh, state? Was it? Uh, it? It's. What is it? Il, uh, Illinois, there, um, right next to Ohio. Yep. Yeah. Illinois, uh, yeah. It's, or Indiana. Uh, Indiana's next or, to Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Or Indiana. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm in Maryland, so that's the closest one to me. It was like right. It's right on the border of Indiana and Ohio. Um, I want to say it's like Boyd or something like that. Um, and uh, but it's like seven and a half hours from here. Um, they also have one down in Georgia, which is about an hour away from Dave. And I would make that drive too, but uh, um, we're gonna, go, I'd have to pay sales tax if I did it down there. So, oh, again, cheap, we'll go north. So. We need the money in Georgia. <laughs> it looks like it's a like you size that uh, allowance pretty good. Yeah, so Raymond, I'm in uh, I'm in Maryland, and uh, I. The part of the state, I, I'm about an hour outside of D.C. Uh, and uh, um, if you look at the state of Maryland, uh, you go a couple, two or three miles north of me in you know, Pennsylvania. I go two or three miles south, I'm in West Virginia. So I'm in the real skinny part of the state. Uh oh, had to break out the hammer. Maybe the allowance wasn't was too tight. <laughs> well, I haven't I haven't sanded the fuzzies off, so oh. uh, Okay, I still don't have this right. That one's right. See with those other ones you don't have to think. You just stick them on there. Oh, yeah, because you, you got, like, a specific way you have to put those on, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you get them flipped the wrong way, and then you go, ah. This should... Oh. Raymond was at Fort Meade for 28 months. I hear you on that. Yeah, that's about an hour and a half from me. Um, actually, in the last couple of days, I drove by there three or four times. Um, my wife's car <laughs> broke down. Uh, she was down in in, in uh, not so great part of the state, and uh, her car broke down, and she ended up having it towed back up uh, a little bit closer. And, uh, what was I had to drive back and forth a couple times. 
What was the matter with it? Oh, it turned out it was the battery, something internally. I think one of the one of the lead plates in the battery, I think, broke. Really? Yeah, because they um, they couldn't get the. Uh, uh, it, it has that auto start and stop function to it, you know, like all the cars do. Yep. And she was at a stoplight, and the car was off, and she went to go move, and it just everything shut off. Um, and then they couldn't get the, so we had it towed, and it sounded like the sensors were going haywire. And uh, um, but the the like, tow guy put a jump box on it, and it wasn't helping, wasn't doing anything. So we weren't sure if it was some electrical problem. And uh, had it towed back to a, a AAA place, and uh, they um, the, they put it on the battery on a charger overnight, and it wouldn't go over 10 volt. Uh, and it, there was no indication that it was that there was a problem or anything. It just went. So. Okay. Uh, I guess you can see that. Uh-oh, we're moving the camera. <laughs> Prepare to go offline. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's a good fit, and this, because it's now a dovetail instead of the uh, the standard little box joint, it fits oh, yeah. a good strong joint. But again, you're cutting stuff with a round router bit, not... Not a bit like the, the traditional dovetail. So, yeah, you can do it, and it, it actually works surprisingly well, I think. But it's probably not the look you're going to go for if you're wanting something that's cosmetic, you know, and want to finish it up nice. But From the inside, are you seeing the uh, dog bones or no? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, you can, I mean, there's just, whoops, there's just no way around it, you know, yeah. they're, they're there for relief, and <laughs> that's what you're going to see, but, no way for, around it, for my first time using that feature, and not really having a clue about the allowance and all that, all I did was, use the three thousands, which is what I do when I'm using the box joint feature. And that seems to work pretty good because this, this little box here, it's not glued. It's just, you know, it's just pushed together. So yeah, three thousand yep. seems to go together snug enough to hold it. And, uh, but yeah, this isn't, this isn't bad. It's, uh, like I said, if you saw the, uh, let me see if I can pull it. Now, do you think, uh, what, would it allow you to use, uh, say, an eighth inch bit to do the, the angled cuts and then do use a quarter inch to, you know, cut the whole thing out or? So here's, here's what I was talking about, where that, I see, yeah, so we've got some fuzzies, but see, that's really pretty smooth where it's where it's angled. And if I hold it up like that, you can see that that's oh, yeah, it's, it's cutting it the way it should. But uh, no, I'm sorry, what, what were you asking me? Ryan? I was thinking about like if you used an eighth inch bit to do those angled cuts, it, it, uh, that would help at all, but. And looking at what you were just showing, I don't really think it would it would help a little bit, but you're still going to have it's still going to make that cut going across there. Yeah, let me uh, let me go back to uh, let's see uh, do this. Uh, I'm just going to go through and start brand new, and you guys will. Be able to see how this works. Oh, good. Yeah, this will answer Dave uh, David Davis's question. That yeah, I think he's asking yeah. about the programming side. So 
Okay, so again, I already know that it's uh, it's not going to fit if I turn it the other way. So I put my blank that way, 24 by 48. The thickness is 0.48, which is what I got with calipers. I've got the zero uh, on the surface. Of course, you could do that either way. Uh, wouldn't make any difference. And then I have the uh, XY datum over here in the lower left-hand corner. And I'm going to say, okay. Now I come to that gadget. Box creator. Here I've got 20 by 15 and a half by 5. Joint width. I think it was 1. Allowance. Oops. Come on, Dave. Three thousandths. I'm not making a lid. And see, here's, here's I think, going to answer one of your questions. It says select tool. One tool. So that's it. You, you pick, you know, either an eighth inch or a, a quarter inch uh, end mill. Yeah. And that's going to be your tool. There's no picking angled things and, and all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is the other thing I was talking about. To do the dovetails, by default, this is always in dovetails. So if I come over here and click OK. OK, now I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure I had that set to one inch, but maybe it was bigger than that. OK, that, that worked at an inch and a quarter. But you see how it lays these parts out. You know, and, and if I zoom in here, here you can see all the little back and forth. That was all that noise you heard yeah. at the first where it's doing this, uh, you know, and stepping over real small to, to, to make sure it gets a good or as smooth as it can. Uh, but then when you come over here, uh, like I said, I, I showed you a while ago, you cannot move these tools. Hey. You, you can move the parts, but the the dovetail tool path will not recalculate. So if you move them somewhere, even a little bit, it's like, I'll show you. I'll grab this part right here, and I'll just move it up just that much. Okay, now I got to click recalculate, and it says, nope, not happening. It won't. It's not supported for imported tool path. So now I don't know if I can... Oh, and they see when I clicked OK, now it's it's done away with the dovetails because it puts them OK here and here. But on this piece that I moved, see, there, you can't yeah, move. They're, they're misplaced, yeah. They're, they're off. So you just have to figure out when you do this. And let me go back and I'll show you what I did from the very beginning when I did this. I came in here and I was I was like running my stuff 48 by 24 so I had it set up this way and then when you come to the gadgets uh, box creator same all this same and it always wipes out your allowance so I got three thousandths dovetails got my bid in there so I click OK Here's what I was talking about. See how crazy that is? It's like, why in the heck didn't you put this wow. over here? Yeah, that's all sorts of wonky. You know, why did you put these two over here, but not wow. this one? Because, and then you can't move that one. Because once again, you do this and go, okay, well, I'll just move this over here and we're all good. Nope. Nope. You think you've got it, but when you click uh, the tool pass, nope, won't do it. So now if I turn dovetail tool pass on, there's those dovetails tool path up there. Again. Outside to the work area, yeah. So after I saw that, I thought, well, okay, let me go back and try it a different way. And that's when I said, well, let me just turn it 90. And try it that way. And yep, 
Yep, everything's good. So when I did it that way, it works. So that's why I had it actually a little funky. Uh, and I also didn't like that how close it is on this side. So when I set my zero, I set it over about an inch in and an inch up or whatever. Yeah. So it wouldn't be so close. But all in all, it's not too bad. It's, you know, it does work. I'm not super impressed with it because to me, when you, the whole point of doing a dovetail joint is because it looks cool. Yeah. And if it's got those dog bones in it, it doesn't look cool. It may still right. be a strong joint, but. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a way though to then maybe uh, do something maybe with a, I don't know, like there's got to be a way to modify the box itself. I don't know, for like an inlay or, or an extra piece. Like I've seen people do weird dovetail joints where they're like layered or something like that. Like maybe there's a way, maybe you could do an inlay that would take up that area that the dog bones are in or something like that. I don't know. I mean, there's yeah, I don't there's know. something that you could do. But uh, like I said, you, for, for a free downloadable third-party app, yeah, I mean, it, it works pretty good. Yeah. For what it is, it's fine. Uh, Harry's asking for a similar size box. How does the job time compare? There's no comparison. I don't think at yeah, all. Yeah, box um, joints way faster. Yeah, yeah, way faster. Because you're not doing the this up and yeah, down. It's basically just doing a profile path to do the dog. The yeah, box uh, joints. But it, it, do you think that that um, dovetail box would be stronger than? Uh, a regular box joint one at that same size yeah i think it yeah i think it probably would be stronger just because it interlocks yeah uh, so yeah but again <laughs> you know what, you for what it is it's fine the, this whole yeah. show was just to see just to do it because i hadn't ever clicked on that i'd always use the other ones so yeah. i just wanted to see what it does yeah, it does work so it's not uh it's not, you know, it's not like it's worthless or anything. It works pretty good, actually. Yeah. So uh, DT is saying that, you know, a smaller bit would minimize the dog bones a bit. Yes, yeah, very true, but it would also make it take a, a lot longer because of of doing that up and down the, the angles for the yeah, dog bones. Yeah. It would, it See, would take I got to, twice as I got, long as what it did already. I got to thinking about, uh, you know, trying to make it a cleaner look. And I do have some down cut uh, one eighth inch. I don't have the the one Cody makes, but I've got some white side and stuff. And that's what I used on those other ones. Uh, but then I got to thinking about how much time it's taken with a course. Of course, I don't know. You could probably, it probably might not take any longer and might look a little better because if I still overlap and, Five thousandths is probably not going to add that much to the total time. Uh, I don't know, but again, yeah. I use the quarter because I—I mean, I, I came out here and I haven't cut anything, but I zeroed the Z up above the material and I ran it cutting air just so I could get a true cycle time. And I knew it was forty minutes, and I'm like, well. I don't want to mess around and make it any longer for the show. You know, we, we need to be able to do it and yeah. see we're already running a little bit long anyway, yeah, quite long. but, uh, but yeah. Um, and John here, he, he, his old question again, he doesn't want to top or bottom with these dovetail one. I don't think it's even possible to do it without a bottom. Not with the vectric one. You're always yeah. going to get, at least on the bottom. You can tell it no top and it won't put the anything on the top. It'll be a straight edge. But we've already tried this every time we do every time we talk about these. Yeah. And it's it's gonna put the even if put it doesn't on make a bottom, it's gonna have that stuff, the, the slots on the bottom edge of the side. Yes, that's, that's just the way that, that one works. Yep. 
Um, well, sir, what do you what do you think about uh, doing a giveaway, sir? Uh, are we giving something away? Oh yeah, I guess we are. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, let's do that, shall we? Let me uh, show him. Oh, come here. Here's his new uh, video he sent me. We're doing the uh, original. I, I call it the original Jenny, but because uh, it's the one that started everything. The uh, yeah. depression. Uh, Jenny, the eight six seven five three zero nine. So, the hashtag is hashtag Jenny. So, if anybody uh, hasn't already got in, if you're uh, showing up late just in time for the drawing. Uh, get that in there. We've got, uh, let's see here. I gotta oh. get my, uh, where'd it go? Well, there we go. We got 80, 82, and give it another few seconds and then we'll, uh, we'll hit this thing. Anyway, while we're waiting on that, I appreciate everybody hanging around and hope you all enjoyed seeing this. Like I said, uh, I had no idea whether it was going to work or not. And yeah. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised that it did work because you saw that I really hadn't sanded the fuzzies and off. I just kind of get it started, and hit it with that rubber mallet and went on in there. Yeah. So it's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world because of the the dog bones. And yeah, if you used a smaller bit, it probably will be a little prettier, although it will also add some to the cycle time. But uh, but if you if you would rather do that than make just plain old box joints, works good. And of course, you know you you I'm sure somebody on here can guess why I like it. Anybody got a guess? Because you're going to be doing do other stuff. <laughs> exactly. Because I can hit the button and be be some totally somewhere else and it'll run and make dovetails. That's one thing you can't do with a dovetail jig. You got to be there doing it. So yeah. All right. We're at 85. Let's uh, let's do this and then we'll get ready to close out here because we're running a little long tonight. Um, good luck, everybody. And here we go. There you go. Hit it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, David Tron Troncoso. I'm not sure how to say hey, that. Last David, one. congratulations, David. That's awesome. JR was so close. It, it was it was looking like it was sitting there. That I don't know if they designed that into this giveaway tool on purpose or not, but it always hangs on that last name and then flip. <laughs> <laughs> it always uh, always does that. Well, congratulations, David. If you're, uh, I think you're a first time winner, maybe. Yeah. Uh, this is who you want to contact. Uh, get a hold of Cody at www.cadencemfgdesign.com. Send him an email and let him know. He, he probably knows you want because he, he might be watching still out there on the road or something. But uh, let him know you want and he'll get that out there to you. Yeah, it's awesome. And congratulations again. So, um, as Before we go, Roger the Tinker says uh, without a top or a bottom it's not a box i would wager that without a top it's considered a tray and without a top and a bottom it could be considered a hoop <laughs> yeah How, however it's a box creator yeah, yeah. it's box creator. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hoop creator gadget <laughs> or a tray creator gadget yep yep so yeah Anyway, you know, like I said, it's a free download that will work if you got Vectric. So for what it is, it's uh, it does pretty good. I do wish, you know, that you could move the parts around like you can when you're using the box joint. So, But other than that, it's still kind of cool that you can lay a flat piece of wood on there and make a box joint, or I mean a, a dovetail 
joint box. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Rob, Rob had a good uh, a good thing. Without a top or a bottom, he'd call it a drum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah, he would. Very good. All right. Well, they're uh, dropping like flies now, so I'm going to get out of here. Uh, again, anybody that wants to uh, check out the stuff for the Cat and CNC Christmas Challenge, there's a link down below in the description. I also put one that's probably long gone now, scrolled up, but uh, check that out. And you'll be hearing me mention that every Saturday night from now on. <laughs> so, so anyway. All right. Uh, Ryan, you or Paul got anything? left you want to say before we get out of here nope just thanks cody for for being our sponsor we appreciate it buddy uh, they're yeah, awesome stuff cadence mfg design.com if you need bits get them he is the man. somebody he local does, yeah he does that every single week not you know since i mean i don't remember when we started i meant to go back and, and look when he you know, started uh, doing that with us, but it's been a while now and it's been every single week he does that. So yeah, appreciate yeah. you so much, Cody. And also thanks to, uh, let's see, JR. And I can't remember who the other folks were that hit the super chats. Uh, but I appreciate those as well. Uh, and anybody that may have, may have hit the buy, buy me a coffee. I don't see those until well after the fact, but, you did that too i appreciate that so anyway we're getting out of here everybody have a good weekend and we will see you next week see ya see ya if i can hit the button <laughs>